Hello friends, are you looking for an app that can enhance both your photos and videos, making them cleaner, crisper, and sharper without breaking the bank? Then stick around because today we're checking out the latest version of an app I've previously reviewed named VideoProc AI that might be just what you're looking for. VideoProc is available for both Mac and Windows and has recently been updated to version 8 with new AI functionality that further enhances its expansive feature set. Right now, it's on anniversary sale, priced at just $46 for a perpetual license or $58 for a four PC plan. For context, that's less than one-tenth the cost of equivalent apps from Topaz Labs, which recently switched to a subscription-only model, now costing a whopping $450 per year as Topaz Video is priced at $300 while Gigapixel is priced at $150 for a grand total of $450. So let's take a look at what's been improved in VideoProc AI 8 to see if it can really compete with the big names. The first new improvement is better image upscaling. The new version 8 update includes upgraded version 3 AI models, which deliver noticeably better enhancement and higher resolution results, now supporting a maximum output of up to 8K from the previous 4K. To use it, just head over the Image AI section. That's where all the image enhancement happens in the new version. Select your images. In the right panel, you'll notice VideoProc has automatically detected my graphics card. As a quick reminder, VideoProc does all its processing locally on your computer. No internet connection or credits required. I'll stick with the default Gen Detail version 3 model which I've found gives the best results for most images. The only exception is when I'm enhancing anime style content, where I'll use the dedicated anime model instead. You can set your desired resolution in the Super Resolution section. Just a quick note, the first time you use the app after installation, you'll need an internet connection to download AI models for the specific target resolutions. After that, the internet is no longer required. Alternatively, instead of using a multiplier, you can also set the resolution directly to 1080p, 4K, or even 8K. Personally, I find the 4K gives the best looking and most detailed results. Once you've dialed in your settings, just click Apply to All to use the same settings across all your images. Once everything is set, click Export. As you can see, VideoProc processes pretty fast making excellent use of your GPU. Next, let's compare the results. In this first example, you can clearly see compression artifacts, blurriness, and a general lack of fine detail, all of which substantially degrade the overall image quality. But when we look at the 4X upscale version, VideoProc AI cleans up the image beautifully, restoring natural detail and delivering a much cleaner and sharper result. Let's take a look at a few more examples. So as you have seen, image upscaling and enhancement now work better than ever thanks to the updated AI models. The second improvement is image restoration. This is a brand new feature in VideoProc 8, which lets you upscale, restore faces, and even colorize to bring old photos back to life. To use it, simply go to the image restoration section and enable face recovery and colorization as needed. Next, let's take a look at a few examples. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of a 1960s black and white photo before and after processing, where I applied colorization and a 4x upscale. As you can see, it's a huge jump in quality with far more detail and vibrancy than the original. Here are a few more examples where the same settings were applied. So as you can see, image restoration definitely works. That said, being a first release, it is not perfect. Colors can sometimes be a bit off and you can't use it to remove scratches. Nevertheless, it's a very welcome addition that hopefully will continue to get better and better with future upgrades. 
The third new feature is improved video enhancement. One of the main reasons to get video proc is that unlike most AI enhancers, it doesn't just work on photos. It can enhance videos as well. So you get two for one and it does so surprisingly well. Just like the image enhancement tools, the video enhancement model has also been upgraded to version 3 for better results. To use it, simply navigate to the Super Resolution section, which is now dedicated to video enhancement. Next, choose your video files. I'll go with the default Gen Detail version 3 model and ensure that it's set to the highest quality mode. In the model settings, you can specify your target resolution. Be aware though that since we are working with video, processing will take considerably longer, especially because everything is done locally on your computer. For reference, a 6 minute clip took me around 45 minutes to upscale to 2x and around 4 hours to upscale to 4x using my entry level RTX 4060. So here's a comparison of 1980s TV footage, originally 640 by 480, before and after a 3x upscale. As you can see, the upscale version is much cleaner and sharper and ready for playback on large 4K TVs, a clear jump in quality. Another application of video enhancement is the ability to improve AI-generated video. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of a Grok Imagine video, originally at 464 by 688 pixels at 16 frames per second, versus the AI-enhanced version after 4K upscaling and frame interpolation, which boosted the frame rate all the way up to 60 frames per second. You can really see how much smoother and higher quality the video looks now, a true night and day difference. So there you have it, the latest features of VideoProc AI 8. As you've seen, even though it costs only about one-tenth the price of Topaz apps, it delivers surprisingly comparable results for both photos and videos while being much easier to use and not requiring high-end hardware to run. It's incredible value. So if you'd like to check out VideoProc for yourself, all the details and links are in the description below. Let me know if you know of any other image and video enhancer combos similar to VideoProc. I'd love to pit VideoProc against those as well. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.